sticker. The 11 point that we've had on camera just got shot. I'm Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. We got another one coming at you today that I'm super excited about. We get to head over to the east side of the state to join the Icapelli boys and showcase what their 2023 season has consisted of. They hunt this little 12 acre chunk. That's just a, a urban piece in the back of the neighborhood they've lived in since they were kids. This is where they started hunting, where their dad got them into hunting. So. It's a super special piece to them, and this is actually the last year that they have to hunt it. So um, they're looking to make it count. Last year, Giuseppe shot his new biggest buck to date. Anthony also within 24 hours shot his biggest buck to date. They've got a couple really nice bucks on camera that they're after, and their dad actually already shot a buck this year. So. I'm excited for this one, guys. Uh, they make the 2023 season count. We'll just say that, but we'll get right into it, guys. Enjoy this one. Welcome back, guys. We got back from Southeast Ohio two days ago. Jake gave me some kind of plague, so I've been a little under the weather, um, probably from five days straight hunting, just grinding it out. Back here, Southeast Michigan, overlooking uh, Winter rye crop that's just coming up, just sprouting, it's super windy out. And there's like gusts over 20 miles an hour. I got a field, CRP field up to my left. I'm kind of hunting your transition zone in between uh, the CRP and the wheat field. You got a perfect wind blowing right over my left shoulder. Can't shoot them if you're on the couch. That's what I was here, but all right, I'll keep you posted. Stay tuned. when it's beginning in November and the rut's in full swing so hopefully I get some hot does in the area and a buck that comes with them we can dish out some dirt naps shout out to Elevate Outdoors got yourself some merch it's gonna go viral prices will probably double or triple on the brand wagon soon. It was almost one year from today that both my brother and I tagged out in this same exact stand, shot the biggest bucks we've both ever seen or killed within 24 hours of each other in this exact spot. So I don't really have super high expectations for tonight, but you never know, I guess. Must be a hot dog. 
Me. God, that happened so fast. I knew he was coming too. I just had a feeling it was like such a weird night. I had like three hot does around here. And they were all chasing. <sighs> I hope I hit them. I, I, I know I hit them. I just... I'm a little further back than I thought than I wanted. God, that's a big ass deer. At least he ran in a safe area. I don't even know what to say right now. I just, uh, I can't believe that just happened. I just, I don't know what to say. I barely hunted this year. Been super busy with work and, and, um, and school and fixing my house. So I haven't really gotten the time to come out a whole lot. I've definitely hunted a lot harder in the previous year. So it's like, it just doesn't feel real right now. I'm shooting a three inch broadhead. I'll show you guys right now. I'm shooting swagger, 150 grain tip. God, I'm shaking like a bug right now. That deer is huge. These things, look at that. I mean, I can't imagine the damage this thing does to the deer. I'm also a little nervous on the penetration. I kind of hit him in the shoulder. But I'm just so... I just... I literally can't believe that just happened. happened. <laughs> I'm going to call my dad and my brother right now. They're going to be so fired up. <laughs> I smoked him. Yeah. Yeah, swear to God. Dude, I'm, I gotta I gotta let him sit for a little while because he was car he was quartering too pretty hard and uh, I hit I hit him right in the shoulder. I, I I don't know I, I gotta watch the video I just sent it to you guys but I got great great footage of it. He was dude literally right where I shot my other buck. Yeah, he came in right behind me. I couldn't dude I I literally couldn't believe it. I still can't believe what just happened. I literally took a video of the doe pissing and it came right to the piss. I, God, I just hope I hit him good. I put it right on his shoulder. Dad's calling me. Dad's calling me. One sec. I shot him. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I, I don't, he literally the same spot that I shot my other deer. Yeah, yeah, it was guy. Yeah, literally, I I did not expect him to show up. I hope I hope he's dead. No, it's okay. I got it all in video. Let me let me review the footage real quick. Okay, I will. I did. Okay, bye. Okay, it's been about thirty minutes since I shot him last. I've been reviewing the footage. He was quartering too, pretty hard. I know I definitely hit one long. I tucked it right behind his shoulder. I mean, for being a quartering two shot, I think I stuck him pretty good, but yeah, I just, I'm gonna give him a couple hours here. I'll probably get down in the next 20 minutes or so. And, uh, It, it, literally the biggest buck I've ever seen in my life. It's our last year hunting this property. The guy that lets us hunt here just sold it earlier this year. This was our last chance to pull some deer out of here. My dad shot a nice eight point last week. And uh, we had this buck on camera for about three weeks now. I don't know, we'll see. Hoping for the best, praying for the best. 
Oh, I'm probably gonna head back to the truck, regroup, and uh, get ready to start looking for this guy. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, it's the next morning, 5.15 in the morning, pretty much exactly 12 hours after I shot that buck. I know he's dead. Just a matter of if he bet it down on our property or not. So we're gonna get out there. But I guess the shot I took, definitely a low percentage shot. I mean, they tell you never to take a quartering two shot like that. But I guess when you're in the moment and you got a, you know, the biggest deer of your life looking at you, you're not really thinking to, thinking too hard. So I felt really confident with my bow and I knew where I was aiming is where I was going to hit on the deer. So like I said, I wasn't really thinking while he was walking. I, I just didn't know what his next move was going to be. I just tried to tuck it as best as I could for what, what the, uh, the shot he gave me. So going to go out there with my dad and my, my buddy, Eric. And, uh, unfortunately my brother's got work today, so I can't come, but yeah, we're going to go looking for him. So I'll keep you guys posted. Now we came in here this morning around 5:15 just to get the track job started and uh, couldn't find any blood past uh, where I shot him. And so kind of had a good idea where he was laying based off of some other deer that we shot. And um, Eric behind the camera found him probably 10 yards off our trail. So we ran about 50 yards and fell over. So we're gonna cut him open right now and see where we hit him. But it must have been a lot better shot than I thought because he, like I said, he ran 50 yards and tipped over. He's stiff as a board. He's been dead all night, so we're gonna go check him out and uh, see what kind of damage we did. All right. Last night, so 
All right, it's November 22nd. We've been after this 11 point here for, I don't know, a couple months now. And tonight I got lucky. Haven't had a trail cam picture of him in over a week and he came in at 20 yards, gave me a shot. It double lunged him and here we are. It's a nice buck. Well, you know, but yeah, unfortunately it's just the way it goes. One of my good buddies uh, shot him I'm happy for him, but it's just one of those things that, uh, you know, it happens when you hunt. I'm glad, you know, it was one of us that shot him and not, uh, not a car, you know, that hit him or anything like that. But just the end of a 
end of the chase for a sticker is put in like a hundred hundred plus hours um, the last you know two three weeks for them just every day I could just pound in the dirt so yeah it's like mixed feelings like I'm happy I'm happy for my my buddy but at the same time like it just it's like a kick right in the stomach knocks the wind out of you a little bit but yeah he is so much bigger in person like to actually hold him he has so much mass that the pitchers just didn't do it justice just an an absolute monster of a deer i mean his body is huge just an absolute unit of a deer but yeah it's, it's just the way she goes sometimes you know, I shot two bucks last year, two nice bucks. I was in for a dry spell. <laughs> I tagged out last year, and now this is my year to eat some tags. You know, hopefully not. I still have uh, another month to go. But yeah, that uh, ends a chapter on sticker, and now uh, we got that big 10 um, on the other chunk of property that we hunt. Uh, we gotta, I gotta start chasing, and... Oh, we have that other nice eight point that's still uh, on that same piece of property. All right, that does it. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Yeah, riding this journey along with me and the boys. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next episode on Elevate Outdoors. Back to you in the studio.